Hello and welcome to day four of our series of basic chakra yoga. Day four, we're going to dedicate to the heart center, to the heart chakra, and it's also named Anahata, where the meaning is that that's the space that is unstruck. It is clear and pure underneath all of the layers and shadows. It is just like a true transmission of love and empathy and compassion. So um, most of us have some turning and churning to do into the heart center. And um, it goes with a color of bright green. And the sound mantra for it is YAM, Y-A-M. <clears throat> and we will turn and churn our heart center today. That is the gateway for the three chakras below, the more denser chakras, the earthly chakras, and into it turns and turns the energies and transmit also from the three chakras above that we have ahead of us the next few classes. So we want to make sure that the air is working great, that the cardiovascular system is working great, and it is extension from our heart, our lungs, our arms, our hands, our fingers, and it really is a nice big like hug. It's a big hug chakra. So um, welcome and I'm glad that you're here. Let's take a comfortable seat unless you already are in a comfortable position and we'll take a few moments to breathe together and then we'll say the seeds of the mantras or sing them together if you'd like to join. So for now, let's just place the hands comfortably on the knees, on the lap, and start to move the breath through all the parts of the body. Just letting the breath come and go as it likes. And if you're comfortable moving it even a little bit deeper into an ujjayi breath, like an ocean breath, the sound at the back of the throat, and really feeling the exchange of energy through the lungs, through the heart center, for the chakras below us and for the chakras above us. And really even all the way into the heart of earth and into the heart of source above. So we'll take another three breaths here together. Gently bring the hands in front of the heart. We'll chant the seat mantras for the chakras together. Lam, Vam, Ram, Yam, Ham, Om, and silence. Inhale. Lam, Vam, Ram. Let's come to child's pose. Big toes together, knees apart. Stretch the arms forward. Sink the hips nice and deep in towards the seat. Active arms. Every breath we take will dedicate it to really transferring energies from the upper to the lower bodies, like a nice bright gateway. One more breath here. A 
and then from here we're going to take it up into Anahata pose or heart pose, arms forward or puppy pose, knees and hips are tucked, toes are tucked under, forehead to your mat, press the palms, lift the upper arm bones. If we needed a block for the head, we will use a block, of course. Anytime you bring in your props, that makes your practice feel better. One more breath here, really breathing into the space between the shoulder blades. And then from here, we have the toes tucked. We spread the fingers and make it up to downward facing dog. Adho Mukta Svanasana. Walking your dog a little bit. Heels pedaling. Moving some energies in the ankles, in the knees, in the hips. Some nice deep breaths here with intention. Moving energies to and from and through the heart center. Undoing layers with each breath. And gently take the feet over to the hands. Inhale, long spine. Concave into the upper back and then exhale, fold. Press the feet, inhale. Sweep the arms up to the sky, palms together, and exhale, hands all the way down. And I like to have my feet a little hip width apart for our five half sun salutations where we're just simply filling the breath through the whole body. Exhale, fold. Inhale, hands underneath the knees. And exhale. With the feet, sweep the arms up to the sky, palms together and hands to the side. Four more, inhale. Bring energies from the feet all the way up through the body, clearing and cleaning with the breath. Inhale, hands underneath the knees. Exhale, fold, press the feet. Inhale, sweep it all the way up, palms together. And exhale, hands to the side. Inhale, bring it all the way up. Big inhale, exhale, hinge and fold, moving energies through the body. Inhale, hands under the knees. Exhale, fold, press the feet. Inhale, take it all the way up, hands to side. Exhale, hands to side. Inhale, hands to sky. Exhale, touch the earth. Inhale, hands underneath the knees and exhale fold press the feet inhale sweep it all the way up and exhale hands to side we'll do one more inhale sweep it all the way up and exhale hands to earth and inhale hands underneath the knees and exhale hands to earth and sweep it all the way up towards the sky palms together and exhale hands to the sides let's widen the feet as wide as you mat interlace your hands behind you roll the shoulders up and back and hinge and fold you can have your hands on your sacrum or you can lift your hands up and away from your back and get a little bit more into the layers around the heart center release the head towards the yoga mat, top of the head down, lift the shoulders away from the ears, bring the shoulder blades together on the back and find that nice space opening up in the heart center area, front and back and side of the heart. Few more breaths right here. And exhale, release hands to sacrum and hands all the way down. Take your right hand around your right ankle and Bend your right knee, straighten your left leg and take your left arm up towards the sky. Gaze all the way up and exhale, bring it all the way back down, switch sides. Take your right hand 
up to the sky, left hand around the ankle, bend your left knee, twist and turn from the hips all the way up towards the shoulders. And exhale, release. Hands all the way down. Take a hand in each and elbow and give yourself a nice ragdoll forward fold bend variant, a pendulum where we just move from the hips to the shoulders, back and forth, lengthening. And then from here, take your hands to the hips, elbows to sky, root the feet, come all the way up to standing and release the hands. And we're gonna step the feet together and come to the front of the mat and move into some sun salutations with warrior poses. So bring your feet together, root all the way down, take a nice big inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. And exhale, hinge and fold, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, long spine, and exhale, place your hands, step back to downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Spreading your fingers nice and wide. Bringing your right leg up to the horizon. Bending your knee up here, and then we're going to circle it in towards the chest and out. Taking that right leg and making some nice, wide, big circles. And then three laps around the opposite direction. Straightening the arms, hugging the muscles around the upper arm bones, and really feeling nice and steady in towards the chest. Switch legs. Take your left leg up to the horizon. Bend your leg. Take your knee to your chest. Open it to the side. Big wide circles. And opposite direction. Moving the energy around the hips. Opening up the layers all the way through the body. And stretch your leg all the way out and take it back down down dog come forward to plank pose take your knee your chest and your chin to the mat to the earth ashtangasana eight pointed chaturanga inhale to cobra inner shoulder to outer shoulder and exhale bring it back down push back downward facing dog adho mukha svanasana Press the palms, lift the upper arm bones. Come up onto the toes, bend the knees, look between the hands, take a step or a hop over to the hands. Inhale, long spine, exhale, fold. Press the feet, inhale, sweep the arms up towards the sky. Feet together or hip width apart, whichever works for you. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up to the sky. And exhale, hinge and fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, step to downward facing dog. Come forward to plank pose, lower knees, chest, chin to the earth. Ashtangasana. Inhale, long spine. Cobra. Exhale. Fold back down, push back, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Take your right leg up to the horizon and hug the midline strongly in, all the way into the space right below the belly button and extend your arms from the bottom of the heart. Step your right foot between your hands, turn your left foot flat, moving into warrior one. Inhale. Stretching in towards the left hip flexor, quad, belly, raising all the way up the stretch up to the shoulders, to the sternum, full empowerment pose. And then inhale, exhale, open up into warrior two. Bending the front knee nice and deep, flipping your right palm up and extending the front leg and bending it back down and pulsating, extending folding back and bending one more and extending it all the way to the back 
and take your arms back out to warrior two pose. Right forearm to the right side, sweep the left arm up to the sky and maybe even up and over the side of the temples on the left side. And exhale, bring it back to warrior two. Three more pulsing back, straight leg, bending it back down and pulsing it back, getting some nice turning going in towards the heart center, opening the pathway from below, from above, through the heart, through the lungs. Warrior two, take your right fingers inside your right shin ankle on a block or on the floor. Inhale, sweep your left arm up, take it all the way over for a nice long side extended angle. And then from here, left arm up to the sky, find it behind you and maybe interlacing the hands behind you, powering up the legs, building some nice good heat and taking the gaze up towards the sky. And exhale, release gaze down, flip it back up into warrior two, one more time and then exhale, hands to floor, exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Come forward to plank, lower knees, chest and chin, all the way down. Inhale to Ashtangasana. Hang out here for a while, making some good curves on the spine. And then inhale into Cobra. And exhale, bring it back down and push into Downward Facing Dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Downward facing dog. Take your left leg up to the horizon, hug the midline, pull the lower belly in, and maybe sweep that left leg up a little bit further. Step your left foot between the hands and come into warrior one. Both feet flat on the mat, arms up to the sky. Power up the legs breathing through all the layers lift all the way up into your heart center and extending out through the arms one more breath here and then opening up into warrior two sweeping the arms out to the side through the horizon knee over ankle both legs equally amount of weight flip your left palm up and sail it back and take your forearm to your thigh and take it all the way up and over and sail it back straighten your front leg we'll do a little extra for the front leg and take it over and again taking it up and over to the back and taking it all the way down one more time taking it all the way up and back and sailing it down to warrior two arms out to the side forearm to thigh sweep the right arm all the way up pull the lower belly all the way in and from here sail it back into reclining Trikonasana again we'll have three more taking it all the way back out and over and sailing it all the way up and over one more and inhale and exhale taking it all the way back down warrior two power up the legs take your left fingers inside your left shin ankle sweep the right arm up to the sky take the gaze up and take the arm over the ear And from here, take your right arm back up and take the hand behind you and find your hands and interlace them if possible. And then take your gaze up towards the sky, power up the legs, power up the torso. And then take your gaze down and warrior two, sweep it all the way up, Virabhadrasana two. And windmilling your hands down to the mat and step it back to downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Come forward 
to plank pose. Lower your knees, your chest, your chin for Ashtangasana. And inhale to Cobra, inner shoulder to outer shoulder. Exhale, release. Take it back to downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svan. Downward facing dog. Inhaling, exhaling, anchoring from the bottom of the heart, out the arms, clearing and cleaning the pathway into the heart center, into Anahata, the unstruck heart, layers by layers. Come up onto the toes, bend the knees, look between the hands, take a step or a hop over to the hands, inhale, long spine, exhale, fold, Press the feet, inhale, take the arms up to the sky and exhale, hands down to the sides. And we'll keep on flowing a little bit more. Arms up to the sky and exhale, hinge and fold, forward fold. Inhale, long spine, long arms, hook the upper arm bones and then exhale, step back to downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Step your right leg up into the earth, up into the sky. We'll take it all the way up. We hug the midline, pull the lower belly in, and from the arms, lift your leg up to the sky. So we're using all the layers to power up the legs. Step your right foot between the hands. Warrior one, arms up to the sky, two feet grounding down all the way from the heart center through the belly center, through the sacral center, through the root, the seat, and open up into warrior two, sweeping it all the way out. Take the gaze over your right middle finger, flip your right palm up, and take it all the way up and back. Keep your right knee bent this time, and from here, take it all the way back out. Hands behind. I'm hoping we have a little bit of awakening from the legs and just kind of firing up all the way up into the heart center. Take the top of the head towards the earth and hands can stay on the sacrum or up to the sky. Bring your shoulders away from the ears. Turn and churn the heart center by just lifting the shoulders away from the ears and creating more space in the front and hugging the backside. Hands to sacrum, bring it back up, arms out to the side, warrior two, and windmill all the way back down, step back to downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Come to plank, come to Ashtangasana, knees, chest, chin. And from here, inhale into cobra, inner shoulder to outer shoulder. And exhale, bring it back down. Push back, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Press the palms. Lift the upper arm bones. Saturate the breath into the heart center. Adjust your legs and sweep your left leg up to the horizon. Pull the edges of the midline in and bring it all the way up towards the sternum, all the way towards the heart center and extend out from there. Step your left foot between your hands, warrior one, arms up to the sky, bicep to ears, pull your left hip back, your right hip forward, and open up into warrior two, sweeping it all the way out. Keep your front knee over your front ankle, flip the left palm up, Take it up and back, reclining warrior. And take it back to warrior two. Finding your hands behind you, find a different clasp. Roll your shoulders up and back, hinge and fold to humble warrior. Diving into the heart center by powering up the legs and getting some heat going up through the centers and lifting the arms maybe up towards the sky. Lifting the shoulders away from the ears. 
top of the head towards your mat. Release the hands to the sacrum and bring it all the way back up into warrior two. And windmill all the way back down and step back to downward facing dog. Adu Mukha Svanasana. Plank pose, Ashtangasana, and Cobra. Inhale into Cobra. And exhale, bring it back down. Tuck the back, downward facing dog. Adu Mukha Svanasana. Anchoring into the hands, into the feet. Come up onto the toes, bend the knees, look between the hands, take your step, take your hop, inhale, long spine, exhale, fold, hands to hips, elbows to sky, root your feet, come all the way up to standing, and release the hands to the side. And come to the center of your mat, and we are going to take the arms up towards the sky, crescent over to the side, bend into your knees so that your hips and your ankles are stacked above and below each other. Take it up and over. And gently take it all the way back to the center, hands all the way down. Just to kind of maybe widen the feet. For me, I'm gonna widen them a little bit more. Maybe you like to widen them a little bit more to bend the knees. We're gonna just give ourselves a nice big hug or just really kind of like a cat cow version in hug mode, in heart mode. So we're just gonna alternate the arms for a few times, sending it out from the heart center and digging into the layers and really rounding the spine and getting a nice big shoulder opener as well and kind of pumping and flushing the breath. So we'll do that. One more on each side. Inhale and exhale. And bringing it all the way out. Nice. And then from here, take the hands onto the knees, thumbs in and fingers out to the side. Feet are mats with apart, yoga mats with apart. And we can just kind of hang out here. We've done it in some of the other classes as well. We're going to roll the belly all the way in and up and just kind of wake up and find the spaces all the way from the seat through the whole spine and then exhale and inhale and exhale arch the spine up to the sky and again massaging the organs and moving energies in the chakras as the belly goes in there should be a more rooting feeling into the legs and the feet and exhale inhale exhale one more time bring your belly all the way in and up and expand the space on the back side of the body as we really plug in the front side and come back to center nice and come to standing at the front of your mat inhale sweep the arms all the way up towards the sky and exhale hinge and fold inhale long spine Step back to downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Step your right foot between the hands. Take your left knee to the earth, to the floor. Use a block at any time. We're going to take the left hand out to the side and sweep the right arm up for low lunge, Anjasana twisty turny or monkey pose twisty turny. There's so many fun names for the yoga poses these days. We'll call it Anjasana side. And extend out from the heart, out through the arms, out through the palms, taking your right hand to your left foot and holding it in there, getting a good hello into the quads. Press the hand and the foot into each other and exhale, release. And come into a half Hanuman stretch low lunge stretch with your heel down and your toes up inhale long spine exhale hinge and fold take the head towards the knees we 
we can stay here or we can take the hands to the sides and support ourselves. You might have some blocks handy by. Take them if you need to, either underneath your hamstring or for your hands, for your Hanuman pose to maybe expand a little bit further um, than bent knee in the back. You might want to explore stretching it out a little bit more to extend the legs all the way from the waist and down and really just celebrate the nice big giant leap of a yoga pose. And exhale, release, and take it back to your downward facing dog, please. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Press the palms, lift the upper arm bones, and take your plank pose, Ashtangasana, and downward facing dog. Inhale into Cobra, inner shoulder to outer shoulder. And exhale, come back down, push back, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Step your left foot between the hands. Take your right knee to your mat and come into low lunge. Andhyasana thigh stretch with a little twisty turny into the pose. Take your left arm up to the sky. Bring your shoulder blades in together on the back by plugging the upper arm bones and sink in towards the hips. Maybe this is plenty right here. Maybe your hand to your foot feels good. Coming into a deeper quad stretch, making sure to stabilize the abdominal muscles as you stretch your quad so your sacrum feels nice and happy. And exhale, release. Take it back down and extend your front leg, coming into Ardha Hanuman, hamstring elongation, lower back opening, and really just draping the energies up into the back of the heart and then extending out through the arms like a full, nice big offering. If there's anything that you have from your heart center that you like to offer out into the world or to those around you, then this is a good way right here. We don't even have to know what it is. We can just be like, yeah, I offer it up. So that's a really good way of releasing tension in the heart center as well. And gently from there, make your way into your Hanuman pose with or without blocks, whatever you might want. You might want blocks underneath your hamstrings. You might have pillows close by tuck the back toes under and shimmy your way into your Hanuman pose. Hanuman was the monkey god who leapt across the ocean for the love of it. That's a big story. We'll call it the love of it, where he just kind of leaped to save a beloved. It's like a giant leap from his heart center out. So we'll do the same right here. It's an intense pose. And then gently from here, make your way back to your downward facing dog. Put your blocks to the side if you have them. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. We'll come through one more plank, Ashtangasana, up dog and down dog knees and chest and chin and inhale coming to your cobra or up dog lifting maybe the legs off and just having your toes and your palms down and then exhale roll over your toes and make it to downward facing dog Adho Mukha Svanasana And from here, we're going to come up onto the toes, bend the knees and take a step or a hop through and come all the way down onto your back, please. And you might put a block underneath your sacrum for 
your wheel post you can simply just put a block underneath the sacrum you can put a block underneath your upper back so any of those things that speaks to you we can start right there we can also use our own muscles and build more of the posterior chain muscles and build more of hugging in the ligaments and tendons around the hips by having our feet flat by rolling the shoulders under taking your hands interlacing them and coming into Satya Bandha Sarvanjasana however if you feel more comfortable with the block use your blocks and gently from here release the hands and come all the way back down so we can do that again or we can lift up into a full heart wheel pose which is anchoring the upper arm bones into the heart center and from the heart center extending out through the arms and hands and into the heart of earth and it's like it becomes this nice big circle of energy going feet to hands heart of earth and around and we'll just kind of get to recycle our really all of the chakras but today we'll dedicate especially to our heart center so let's place the palms by the shoulders or take your hands by the sides and take your supported bridge pose with or without a block press the palms press the feet come up to the top of the head and maybe walking your hands in slightly come up on the toes and from the heart center extend out from the bottom of the heart extend out the arms out the hands enjoying the back bend and slowly bringing it back down and take a pause right here take your hands on top of your thighs right at the base of your thigh bones and root them and extend and find more space for the lower back just by putting nice light pressure onto your femurs take a few more breaths right here and exhale release from here we're going to take it to fish pose it's like we're going to build a little bridge from the heart center up into the throat center so let's do this take the take yourself up onto your up into your forearms nice and then we're going to lift the heart and we're going to drop the head back down and we might drop it so much back down that the head comes to your mat and we might lift the legs and we might lift the arms like a nice big bridge for the lower chakras into the heart chakra and moving the energy up into the top three chakras and put your feet back down take your hands by the shoulders and lift up from there into your wheel pose i have to adjust a little bit maybe you do too and from here we can stay here and enjoy or be down with a block or celebrate with our leg in hanuman style up towards the sky one leg maybe the other and exhale bring it back down and come all the way down onto your back and we'll take the sacrum down to the floor and rooting it down take your hands again to your quads and press them all the way back away from the hips and find a nice big traction for your lower back if you needed that from here you can release your feet back down to your mat arms out to the side 
and windshield wiper your legs side to side to side and massaging moving and checking in with energies all the way from the lower chakras all the way up into the heart center and checking in with the arms and the palms this should be a nice little buzzing feeling regardless of which back bend that you chose to do there's still a nice awareness and intention for the heart when we do back bends take the knees into the chest Hug them all the way in, bring your sacrum down onto the floor, take happy baby pose, hands outside the feet, arms inside the knees, rooting the femurs, even out the whole posterior chain muscles all the way up to the base of the neck, like a nice ripple effect. And gently bring the knees into the chest. We're going to roll up and take downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. From here, we're going to step our feet wide apart for Prasarika Padottanasana. So just step one foot forward and have wingspan width between your hands and your feet. We're going to do Prasarda hinge where we get to elongate from the whole base of the spine up through the whole posterior muscles and really just get a nice elongation for the spine and untying of any knots, making sure that there's no stuck energy, stagnant energy in the back of the heart center, in the side, in the front of the heart center. and gently come back with your hands underneath the shoulders arch the spine and come to neutral space and arch the spine we'll do a few waves to make sure to send out any energy into its right place and from our spine from our heart center and exhale hollowing the upper arm bones in and then from here, step your feet a little bit closer together, mass width apart. You can take a block and sit on, or you can simply just come down if it's comfortable for your ankles into Malasana, where we get a nice kind of release for the whole spine. And really it works wonders on the back side of the body. It roots the femurs and it really unties knots for the lower back and then ripple affects that all the way up towards the whole upper back. So we'll take our palms together in front of the heart and take three breaths right here where we just get to anchor down, whether you're sitting on the block or two blocks or whether you have your feet flat and letting your seat be above your mat. This should be a nice warm buzzing feeling in the hands from the different heart opening poses where we with intention turning the energy for the Anahata chakra in the clockwise clear direction and let it spin in just appropriate way for us. And gently come all the way down to a seat from here. Crossing your legs. Sitting nice and tall on the sit bones. Breathing through all the layers from Muladhara to Svadhisthana to Manipura to Anahata to Vishuddha to Ajna Chakra and to Sahasrara Chakra. And we'll just take that breath through the whole central channel to the heart of earth, 
to the heart of source for three times and let them just interchange in between for the heart center and it'll just transfer and purify for the upper and the lower centers. Three nice deep breaths. Gently bring the hands together in front of the heart and we join our voices for the sounds of the chakras to communicate with them and to start starting our communications with what they have to tell us for each and every center to our mind to maybe do or eat or drink or be in a way that will make them turn in a harmonious way for our bodies and layers. Lam, Vam, Ram, Yam, Ham, Om, and silence. And then we'll take Shavasana after that. Take a nice big inhale. Lam, Vam, Ram, Yam. welcome to sit for your meditation shavasana or i highly recommend to lay down flat on your back to get the full benefit of all the poses finding its right and correct place in our energy bodies and in our physical body so thank you so much for joining me today and i look forward to seeing you tomorrow for our fifth chakra this is a good time to take the left hand on the heart and the right hand on the belly and just letting the energies find a right place to be within ourselves. Have a great Shavasana and enjoy the rest of your day. Namaste.